Hey teams, I'm NASA astronaut Ricky Arnold, and I hear you are planning to design a future lunar city and provide examples of how your city uses two moon resources to keep your residents safe and healthy. The moon, what an awesome destination with very unique engineering challenges. You guys are gonna put the E in STEM. Before we go back to the moon to stay, there's still a lot we have to learn and the place to learn that is in low Earth orbit. That is one of the reasons we are so fortunate to have the International Space Station. The ISS has been occupied by human beings from around the world for over 20 years. It's the size of a five bedroom house traveling around the Earth every 90 minutes. I've lived on the ISS twice. The last time was for 197 days and what an awesome experience. We are focused on two things on the space station, improving life back here on Earth and figuring out what we need to do to keep people happy and healthy as we head off into the solar system to live and work. First, we need to learn about how space changes the human body and astronauts are part of that experiment. Doctors and scientists keep a close eye on how our body changes in space and what we need to do to protect us to keep us healthy. One thing we have learned is about the importance of exercise to keep our bones and muscles strong and healthy in an environment where you float everywhere. We exercise twice a day on two treadmills, one exercise bike, and one advanced resistive exercise device, which is just a fancy term for microgravity weightlifting. Building these devices to work in microgravity was a huge engineering challenge, but we figured it out. Of course, on the moon, you will have one-sixth the gravity of the Earth, so the exercise requirements will be different from ISS, but also different from Earth. We also learned about the importance of sleep stations for a dark, quiet space to sleep, as well as a place for privacy, some place you own to read, write, watch TV, or just relax. Of course, there are other basics, food, water, even the air we breathe that need to be provided to keep us alive. All of these things come from Earth, so we need to make sure they are light enough to launch on a rocket and that we don't waste these resources once they make it to the ISS. Water is a big one. On ISS, our water is largely recycled. We recycle almost everything from humidity in the air to even urine. On the moon, we may have access to water ice, but it will still be a precious resource that needs to be reused. Food also comes from Earth. Though we have grown some plants on the ISS, we just don't have the room or resources to grow enough to feed astronauts. One of our best days on orbit is when a cargo vehicle arrives carrying fresh fruit and veggies. Communication with home is by radio, video conference, or email. This is really important and involves a satellite network. But even on our best days, there are still times we cannot communicate with Earth. The International Space Station is only a few hours away from Earth, and we need rockets to launch people as well as materials and supplies to space to keep us alive. We also need to bring people and science back to Earth. On the ISS, we have to bring it all with us, food, clothing, medicine, equipment, you name it. The moon is much further away, a four-day journey, and it requires another launch from the surface of the moon to get things heading back to Earth. Rocket fuel will be a challenge. All of these things and more were problems that needed to be solved just like you guys are doing right now for your future city. The astronauts on the moon, just like astronauts on the ISS, are only a small part of a very big team working all around the world to make the mission successful. Talk about working remotely. All the things we are forced to do right now, meeting by video conference or over the phone, have been how the ISS has been working for years. Working as part of a team from a long way away is difficult, but you can do it. Patience and communication is the key. Wishing you all the best and an amazing engineering challenge. Stay safe, be kind, and work together to make it all happen. And hope to see you living in your future city one day. All the best.